Hi guys! <laughs> brand new vlog! Welcome. Welcome to a brand new vlog. Today we are on our way. Oh my gosh, you look so handsome in that Thank new you. little thing. I mean, you do too. Today we are off to Bista Village. If you remember, a couple of months ago we went to Bista Village and had the biggest fail of a Bista Village trip ever. It was really busy and obviously it was still very COVID. I mean, it still is very COVID sensitive, but back then we weren't double vaxxed and it was a bit like, oh, you know. And we didn't manage to get into any shops because we got there too late and couldn't get into our favorite stores. So today is a different day. We're planned, we're booked, we're organized. I've got us, um, we are going to Cafe Walsley for lunch. We've got bow all packed up. Look at this. Look at this one's new little harness. You look like a little police dog, but a tiny one that's very unthreatening. Look at his face, he's like, Mama, no! I don't want you, please, me. You're so cute. They're new harnesses from Teddy Maximus. This They're is a, such a sweet little gift that they sent us like unexpectedly. And it's their new um, adventure harnesses, I think they're called. Oh, they're yeah. So they're not, they're um, more kind of like waterproofy. They're not wool. God, he dust on it from where Jake picked him up? Yeah, the builder picked him <laughs> up. Oh, what's that? You've got eye goop. He's got eye goop. Um, yeah, so we've got him all sorted. Oh, he likes that. <laughs> I am taking my beautiful Hermes with me. Also matching headband, absolutely falling in love with this. Really like Blair Waldorf vibes, so loving this. Uh, what else am I wearing today? I'm wearing my beautiful little Stella McCartney blazer. Underneath that, I'm wearing my Lily Silk white long sleeve blouse. Under that, I'm wearing my Kate black bodysuit. You can see my boobies through the middle. Edge of Ember Athene pendant that has bow on the back. Come on, remember, remember, remember Riviera droplet hoops today, as well as the Luxor ear cuff. And I'm wearing the Veneto bracelet. Oh, and all the, I mean all the rings, I'm always wearing all the rings. So I fully kitted out, got my hair done with the Dyson Corral. That's about it to tell you, I think. I'm driving in our courtesy car this week because our car is in for repair. A few weeks back I told you there was a little accident with the car. Not my fault, not Alex's fault, it's someone else's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Third party's fault. So uh, the car is in for repair this week, so I really miss it. So we have a little cute, cute little Corsa. It's just a bit old and a bit doddery, that's all. So we're gonna drive to Bista Village and have a lovely little day out. <laughs> Made it. We are now at the apartment at Bista Village. Alex has never been here. No, very which, nice. It's really nice. We have our lamp. <laughs> Guys, look at this. This is our, this is our I call it lamp. I've never seen it anywhere else but in our house. <laughs> so it's really cool seeing it. I mean, I, I absolutely love this. Make yourself at home, aren't you? I always used to say, I, I thought it was iCholz, but I saw someone recently saying iCholz, so I'm not sure. It's probably iCholz, to be fair, because it's German. Um, but isn't it beautiful in here? It's gorgeous interiors, really like Soho home vibes. I really hope he doesn't need a wee. It's absolutely beautiful. Like, look at this really pretty pink sofa. I remember this is here last time I came and I swooned over it. So, right, we're going to start our, our little shopping trip now. We're going to Cafe Walsley for lunch. And then we've got four places booked in. I'm very excited about this. Oh, that was delicious. I would show you the food, but we just we just ate Rocky it. Stay. Sorry, Alex had fish. I had mac and cheese. Why did you keep pointing at the table? <laughs> it, was, it was right here. Was it about there? You can just imagine it was right here. It was bubbly, it was really cheesy, good and delicious. Yeah. So first appointment is Gucci. <laughs> okay, so we're in we're in um, Gucci. There are so many amazing things in here, guys. How incredible is this skirt? I'm hoping they can find one in an extra small because this is just the cutest thing. Look how gorgeous this is. And how amazing is this? It's like laminated, like coated, but what it's it's an like... adorable little coat. Those colours are amazing together. It's like sweets. Gosh, I love it. <laughs> With my little headband, it's like pastel dream. So this was 1700 it's now down to 700 So it's a thousand pound off, and it's amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. What are you gonna put underneath it? That shirt would work well with it too. I mean, yeah, I think that's why the style it'll that way. That, with that skirt, would be gorgeous, wouldn't it? Mm. So nice, but I just really love these two. Gorgeous pink trousers too. Look at, yes, I will, I will, I'll try that one too. That's so nice. Mm. It's gonna be the coolest guitar case ever. I like that hat. I like that hat. <laughs> I'm well worthy. 
Yeah, you should try one on. Look at that backpack as well. Is this by the Disney range or is this yeah, just the... No, no, I don't, I don't think so. Is it? I don't think so. I don't think it is. Like that. That's awesome. That is so cool. And yeah. that hat. This is too big though. It's like the last one in the store. It's like a size too big, I think, but absolutely adorable. How great would this be for like fashion week though? Yeah, it's very cool. If I was going to the Gucci show, it'd be so good. <laughs> it actually doesn't look. It's not too. It's not too bad actually. Like this is what it would be like buttoned. This is like me wearing a small or like an eight, I suppose. So it's yeah. a bit more oversized fit, but kind of like it. Oh my gosh, look at that pink on the inside. Yeah, it's nice. It's a shame that you don't have your size. I think it would look better a little bit smaller. Shame but... it's smaller. I imagine this is the kind of thing that if I wore it in London, I'd get loads of people being like, oh my gosh, your jacket's amazing. It's that I mean, kind it is, of it's thing. It's incredible, yeah. But it fits great on I that. Lift, your, lift your arms in a T shape. T. Oh, like that. Like that. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I quite like it. Right, this is just amazing. Look at this pastel little number. I really like that. Oh, it's so cute. It's got little three quarters fits as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Natural size. Cute with the headband. It's do really you, nice though. Do you like that? Yeah, I think you should buy that. That's quite sweet, isn't it? Even just with like a pair of jeans, like tucked in, it'd be quite sweet. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I actually don't know how much this is. One million dollars. Three hundred. This is nice. Look how vibrant this is. I like it. I think I prefer the other one more. The pastel? Yeah. Oh, it is really nice. If you had an so, orange headband. Let me try it though with this blue skirt because I think these will go so nice together. Oh, you know, that's the tag off my top. Okay, cool. I really quite like this skirt with it. With the headband and everything, you're like, you're in like a 1950s high school. Do I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the orange with this blue. That's nice, isn't it? It's really quite cute. The slits in this, the pleats. Yeah, it's nice. Quite like it. The skirt is 350. Wow, is everything 350 is in the store? No, no. The 350 store. <laughs> <laughs> From Gucci. From <laughs> Gucci. I mean, it's a great outfit. Oh, I like these, babe. Oh, I don't know now. Very cool. That's nice. I like the, the buckle on the front. The horse bit on the front. Yeah, I mean, this is really cute with the big, thick leather band. Oh, I really like this. I feel I'd probably wear this skirt quite a bit, you know? Yeah, I think you, think? yeah I think you would. With either calf length boots, midi boots, or over knee. Yeah, I think even with just like, it doesn't even have to be a bright colour like that. I think you've probably got like a knit or something or a slim things you always wear. Bodysuit? Is it a bodysuit? Yeah, I kind of guess. What, to go into the skirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, think, I nice. think so far. I mean, I do really love that top. I think it's great. This? Yeah. No, I, do. I, do, I like all three things, actually. The only thing I wouldn't, I wouldn't say yes to is the jacket. Yeah, the jacket. I don't jacket. think it's quite right. And I prefer the skirt over this skirt. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more my length. Yeah, it's younger yeah. as well, I think. Yeah, this is a little bit more mature. I think it would be good as like an office job kind of thing. Oh, God, yeah. But yeah, Amazing for what you... I think you get a lot of use out of that one. Yeah, I mean, I still think this, this won't go with this. Okay? I really like that, though. I think you should still get that. You think? I think so. I mean, it is adorable. I really like it. Okay, next up we are in Dior. Look at this little bar jacket. This is so classic, so Dior. The way it kind of grips in here and then comes out over your um, over your hips to give it a bit more shape and more curve. It is so cute. I think I just prefer my collar. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That something just doesn't quite suit me in it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's so nice. The fact that it's a bar jacket half price is insane. I know a load of you will be like, I hope you get the blazer. <laughs> and wow, the lovely sales assistant just brought me another one out in this gorgeous pink shade. And it's like leathery. Wow. And this one is lovely, but I just don't know. I just don't think. Something about it, I don't think it suits me. I just can't. I cannot work it out. 
<laughs> Guys, I found these boobs. How cute are these? I'm just saying they're really quite similar to my um, little aquasuras that I'm wearing today, but they're Dior ones. How nice. What do you think? Do you think I should get them? They're great. I mean, they're lovely, aren't they? They're so nice. But then we've also found these. And I was saying that, Alex, you wanted me to buy these when they're in store, weren't you? Were we in Venice? I feel like we were when we saw them. Yes, Venice, we were. Yeah, yeah. Let's go buy these. Aren't they nice? Lovely <laughs> So Isabel Morant. These are like my shorts that I've got. But in a like little skirt. That's cute. These are jeans. Super high waisted. Look how high that crotch is. Super retro. Look <laughs> like over your boots. <laughs> I love, I just love Isabel Morant. Look how gorgeous this is. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. So nice. Just coming to Prada and there are some finds to be had in here. Some beautiful things. I've just found the most incredible pink or beige jacket. I'm not going to tell you which one I've gone for, but I've gone for one of them. We need a little break, didn't we, Bobo? The bags are getting a little bit heavy. I've been spendy today. I have not spent like this in a while, but so many nice things. So just come back to the apartment for a drink. Yeah, that, I couldn't really film much in Prada then, but that jacket, this jacket I found, so nice. Literally, it's the first thing I saw and I was like, that is amazing. And it's just the way it's cut. It's just amazing. I love it. I'm so excited. One thing's for sure, we came on a much better day today, didn't we, babe? Okay. Last time we came, it was raining. It was I feel packed. like we were here for 10 minutes last time. And it was awful. But today, we have lovely weather. We have good vibes. We have lots of things to buy. This is great. Okay, guys, last place. We're coming to the designer exchange, and I've just found my salmon on blazer, but in blue. And it like, it up like 30% of what I paid. So now I'm like in a dilemma, do I buy it? I think I might need to. So many great things from like, I mean look at this, Mew Mew. But literally everything is just like amazing luxury pieces that are all like Manolo, Saint Laurent, Mew Mew, Prada, Chanel, Hermes, Bellman, Burberry. <laughs> like this store is a bit insane. Chanel, Sneaks, Gucci, Loafers, Gucci, Chanel, Janvito. Balenciaga. This is just amazing. And we are back! So, fantastic trip this time. Last time was a major fail, this time majorly made up for that fail. I've never had a more productive and successful trip to Bista Village. It was a very, very good day. There were some fantastic things that I found. Let me show you what I got, guys. This is very exciting for me. Oh, God, so, so, I bought a few things. Yeah, I mean, it feels somewhat frivolous, really, but actually the savings that I've made overall must be fairly massive on a lot of this. So I've bought something from Dior, Gucci, Prada, and I've bought something from Saint Laurent from the Designer Exchange store. So yeah, it's the last shop we went in. It's called Designer Exchange. There's a couple of different stores. Some in, there's one in London, I think, or maybe two in London, and a couple of other places. A bit like a vintage store, really. People take things there that they no longer want, sell them to Designer Exchange, and then Designer Exchange, Exchange sells them on. Okay, where to start? First up, Dior. There have been, there's been times in the past when I've been to Vista and I've managed to buy some incredible Dior boots. Such a good place to go to buy Dior shoes. They're so me, these are so me. A wonderful stiletto heel, really pointed. Um, a gorgeous suede and then a fantastic ankle length. I tried them on in the store, they just fit like a dream. And um, I know I'll get my use out of these, without a doubt. Like, a fantastic pair of cropped skinny blue jeans will look so cool with these, just with like a white tee or whatever. Or even, I mean, with this skirt, it looked fab. Longer, maxi kind of dress, it'd be cool. Yeah, I mean, how gorgeous are they? So these were £474. 
Yeah, they're 474 pounds. I think they reduced from about 1,090 ish. So about half price. It's pretty awesome. If you're someone who loves to buy designer shoes, such a great way to buy designer. Um, then Gucci. So the things that I bought out of everything that I showed you, it was quite a hard choice. Do you know what? I've never been into the Gucci store at Bista Village. You've got to like book ahead of time or get there really early and get on the um, on the list of people to get in that day. And so we managed it today and I'm so glad. So the things that I did buy are this adorable little jumper was just too cute to say no to. Again, I thought just the kind of thing I could wear if I'm going traveling, like on the plane, it's that really easy light throw over jumper, um, just with jeans, with a pair of light blue jeans, be so cute, um, tucked into gorgeous little cream skirts, you know, um, and Alex loved this one as well, he really encouraged me to get it, it's got the gorgeous little Gucci symbol here down at the bottom, it's the last one in the shop, it was in my size, so I went for it, love it. Then I went for this skirt. Now this I didn't see myself, the sales assistant brought this over. Um, it was a really lovely sales assistant, it was so sweet. And he was just really helping us because he could tell that I wanted to try on quite a lot of stuff. And he was like, you find what you want, I'll take it to the changing room and keep it in there for you. It was just a really lovely service. Anyway, he found this and was like, this is in your size, I thought you might like it. And I was like, I do like it. The thing I love about it is the fact it's got this little like, built-in Gucci belt section. So when it's on, it literally looks like you're wearing like an incredible like leather belt around the centre. And then it's got the horse bit print all over the skirt. It's really great. I mean, you saw it on the video. I hope we got some footage of it. But it's a really great length and fit. So I went for this one. So this one... Oh, they take all the prices off. They must take all the prices off when you get them home, so it feels a bit more special, maybe. But I'm pretty sure that they were both about... The skirt was about £1,000, reduced to 360 I think. And the jumper was about £800, reduced to 300 So again, massive amount of savings off them, and I love them both. Then, I didn't really get to show you this. I didn't get to show you this in the shop, but I absolutely loved it. This was in Prada. And literally, we walked in, and the Prada store was a bit overwhelming, I must admit. You walk in, they've got like a Miu Miu section, they've got a Prada section, with all the bags and everything. You walk to the back, and that's where the ready-to-wear is, but it's there's so much in there. It's a bit of a jumble. It's not overly beautiful, I must admit. It's a bit of a jumble. But the first thing I saw was this jacket in a baby pink, and I like beeline towards it. That's really cute. But let's try it on. Tried it on, and was like... Oh my god, I love the fit of this. And then the lady that was there, the sales system, she was like, yeah, that looks amazing on you. We do have another colour. And then she pulled this one down off of the rail. Just that beautiful, like, thicker denim style material. You know, the kind of thicker jacket material. It's just got the Prada triangle, so it's really subtle. And the colour is just beautiful in this beige. So, in the end, I literally fell for this within about two minutes. I was like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. And was like, do I get the pink? Do I get the beige? I'll get the beige. So, that's what I did. I went for the beige. But look, check the fit of this. The way it pulls in at the waist, it just immediately gives you this really incredible shape. Again, crop sleeves. I've got a bit of a crop sleeve theme here. How lovely is this? This, as it pulls in, do you know what I mean? It really makes it flattering straight away. Super flattering. It's a perfect size, like if you want to do this up, it's perfect. I love the three quarter sleeves. Again, it does, because I love to do this with my sleeves anyway, so the fact it's already three quarter, already had shape. The color is so great. Like, I'm just imagining this. It's so cool. Isn't it gorgeous? I thought it's so foul. Now this was an insane price. Bearing in mind this is Prada. Uh, I wonder if it tells you what it was. Please tell me what it was. Yo, here we go. This was on a super, super special price. It was in the part of the store, I think, where it was like on mega sale. But you can't return it, you can't exchange it, it's that kind of thing. It's like last, last, last sale pieces. This was 
£1,300, reduced to £650 in the store, and then they took off an extra 40%. So from £1,300, I paid £390 for this. It's still a lot of money, but it's not £1,300. It's £1,000 off. And I literally was so in love with it. The woman at the till was like, I'm going to sell you what we'll be able to exchange. I was like, I don't care. Get, get, put it in the back. I love it. It's so lovely. And again, I just love that subtle little bit of branding. It is amazing. The reason I went for this and not the pink was because I felt like the pink one would be a bit more hindering in terms of the colour. Whereas this will go with everything. I can just chuck it over top and it'll look amazing. So what a find. Oh, seriously, what a find that is obsessed with that and then the last thing i got guys i went to this yeah like i said designer exchange very last store we were literally on the way on the way back to the car my feet were a bit sore at this point in my heels because i was wearing them um, i showed you i was wearing my my aquazuras all day I mean, they were fine but bear in mind i've not been on heels really for two years my feet are a little bit more more sore today and it was the last shop and i was like oh wait a minute that's that design store um, it's only there for six weeks, so if you do want to go, go soon. We'd been told there was a design store there that sold vintage Hermes, Chanel, Saint Laurent, Balmain, etc. And as I walked past it, I was like, Alex, that's that store, let's go in. So, look what I found. So this technically is second hand. Someone has bought this and then taken it and sold it to Designer Exchange. But it looks practically brand new. Saint Laurent blazer and you might recognize it I've pretty much got this blazer like I said in the black in like the wool whereas this one is almost like a felty wool and it is just absolutely amazing look my size fits perfectly lovely and fitted the price so bearing in mind this blazer when I got my black one the, the black blazer that I have let me show you. My black blazer, I mean, I'll be honest, this is like my pride and joy, this blazer. It's just unbelievable. I'm, in, I'm sure it's the same. Same blazer. I love it. I absolutely love it. Do you know what? I think this might be one size up, I feel. Anyway, um, I'd always, as you guys probably know, I had always wanted a Saint Laurent blazer. So I paid full price for this. And I think it was about 2.1, 2, 2,100 pounds. Um, bought it because I loved it and I absolutely adore it. I don't regret it for a second. This one was £750 instead of 2.1. So it looks brand new. Whoever's bought it has obviously had a change of heart. It's perfect. I just felt it was me in a jacket. The only other baby blue jacket I have is my Balman. So this is the only other baby blue coloured jacket. And I mean, you guys have seen it so much. I love this. It's just a very different style of blazer, very fitted, very kind of showy. Whereas this is this sort of larger, double-breasted style. And you guys know how I feel about a blazer. So um, yeah, this was the last piece that I picked up. So on this, I saved 1,400 pounds. So it was just a bit too good to be true, to be honest. That's why I was like, I'm gonna have to get it. I love it, I love it. So I got this, the Dior boots, the Gucci jumper, the Gucci skirt, and the Prada jacket. So that has been one seriously successful Bista Village trip. <laughs> Does it also, for any of you guys who are like, what the hell is Bista Village? I don't think I gave any context that it is literally a um, collection of outlet stores called Bista Village. And by the way, they haven't paid me to make this vlog, by the way. I just know how much you guys love a Bista Village vlog. So, and I've really, really enjoyed this today. Right, so we've just got back. My feet are really, really swelled now. <laughs> um, I am going to just unpack a few things. I'm going to put these back into their places. Um, tomorrow I'm going to get my lashes done, so I just want to get myself ready. Get the house all tidy again before I go out to London tomorrow. But tomorrow we have our stonemasons coming over to measure up all of the worktop space in this room as well as downstairs the outdoor kitchen they're measuring up the stone for there annoyingly i'm not going to be here because, um so i'm leaving it in alex's capable hands and hoping it's going to go well um but that's really exciting for me anyway guys hope you've enjoyed this little bista village trip see you in the morning